Hello, my name is Karks82, and welcome back to our Direct Tech New Horizon Season 2. Alright, uh, last episode we started doing the that, and uh, I noticed, or I read the comments, that you can input into the output side of the fluid p2p now i could have sworn i tested this and i remember testing it while recording too so i would have to go back and look but i could have sworn it didn't work like that so like you couldn't output the two oxygen in this case i'm just using oxygen as a um while i'm testing and i couldn't output like from two sources into one um but apparently that is not the case <laughs> Uh, so I have the two outputs and the one input. Um, as you know, the eight uh, applied energy sticks P2P, you can only have one output, but you can have as many, or one input, and you can have as many outputs as you want. So basically, you get this channel, and then you can connect all the different channels as you want to that. But uh, you can't do one output or two inputs to one output kind of thing. Uh, but apparently, you can actually <laughs> send fluids through an output. I didn't know that worked, and I could have sworn, like I said, I thought I tested that, and it didn't work. So what I've been doing is endero tanks, inputting into ender tanks, and then having the one ender tank input into the big tank. But apparently, I don't need to be doing that. I could just switch the ones to use... I could just connect them like I could switch. Usually I do like over on my chemistry I've done input would be here and then the tanks would be in the output. Is it sending it from there into the tank? But I guess I could just switch it so the tank would be the input side and then connect as many outputs as I want. Because yeah, apparently this is a thing that I didn't realize was going to happen. <laughs> so, all right. And I'm just doing, I just did a little test right there. This isn't connected to the A system. It is just a separate little controller right there while I was doing some testing. So, yeah, I'm going to have to readjust some of this stuff. And, um, for example, this right here is our oxygen. I have three sources of oxygen, but apparently we don't need to do it the way I'm doing it. So, uh, I guess... Make all these. And luckily, I mean, I use all this stuff, so I had no problem. Didn't mind crafting all that up. All right. There we go. So I guess we will do input there. Pretty sure we have enough channels over here for this. And then I will switch these. The issue with this is we're adding another channel over here. We're pretty short on channels, and I'm adding another one. So there is that oxygen. And just push that. That there. And finally this one and then this is the one that was inputting into the a system or the tank over there so let me just break this down well oh. this didn't i have three Oh, maybe not, because I added one over there. Okay, so that will get oxygen. And then how are we going to do this? We'll just start over here on the oxygen one, which is quite low at the moment, but <laughs> it'll get bigger. So, yeah, usually this is the output. We'll do that. 
Yeah, so that's the output side, but we'll start with the input and then make all these the input. I do want to see that working. We'll start with this one over here just to make sure it, because this one should have, yeah, that one's full of oxygen. Yeah. There we go. It is outputted into the thing. All right. Well, I learn something every day. That makes that much easier, for sure. But why? Like that is really slow. Oh, that's not running. Did I turn that off. I don't think I turned that off. I don't remember turning that off. Maybe I. Oh, no, I don't remember. Nope, everything looks fine. All right, so that, that, and then the third one will be in the base. All right, and then I guess we'll do that. Uh, hydrochloric acid, we need to do that too. And. off yep there it goes <laughs> man i wish i do that i i could have sworn i tested that i'm gonna say that i'm just gonna pretend like i was right and it didn't work and now it does <laughs> so all right yep there we go oxygen from multiple outputs into one input all right cool so with that uh let me fix probably do man now i'm like <laughs> I'm wasting hydrochloric acid and stuff because I didn't know I could do it easy like that. Nah. I think, didn't one of these? I don't know. I'm not going to, you know what? I'm not going to go back and fix stuff. But from now on, we will, we know. So I have uh, hydrochloric acid over in that base. So let me switch that. Uh, now I got to figure out where it's coming from. Hydrochloric acid is in here somewhere. There it is. Wait, no, that's hydrofluoric acid. Hydrochloric acid? There's hydrochloric acid. Yeah. So we're going to do... Change this. So that'll be that. And then... That. Like, nothing's going to happen here. We're just readjusting it so I can include the one on the pbi side all right and then what do i want to do about sulfuric acid i think i do want we'll uh think yeah this i will pipe into a distillery probably just a small one maybe Maybe a tank and then a small distill, and then we'll put it in the thing. Uh, if it's full, we'll just let it void. And then on this side, I think, yeah, there's the hydrochloric acid. So we'll just add that. And. Well, oh, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> the way I have that, I'm like, that's, that's not going to work. I can't get to that. All right, I'm going to have to adjust that too. It always gets a little sketchy when you're doing that right around other tiers. I don't, I just don't want to, ah, uh, there we go. All right. As soon as I get it painted, I know it can't connect, so it makes me a little less worried. There we go. All right. So then we will pump that out probably with just fluid pipes into the chemical reactor that it needs to go in. Okay, so that is that. Uh, I do have a bunch of chemical reactors set up. I think I just need a bunch of input-output buses. Let me guess. Uh, I need three. 
think we need three, maybe four. Um, I'm just going to do this. This is so like overkill. <laughs> I'm just going to do these in separate ones. So there's one input bus. There's two input buses. That one actually needs an extra input bus. So that has two input buses all alone. So that's four. And then I need another one. I don't have enough crafters to do that. Uh, another one to do that. And then we should have, yeah, let me clean up my inventory a little bit here. Uh, we do have a bunch of, and I hate when they don't stack. We do have a bunch of, I don't remember what I was going to say. Totally forgot. We have a bunch of something. Totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, we already have these. We have four done right here. I got those ready using the handy dandy this one. Obviously, I could do some funness where I could, you know, take this once it says the items, take this, put it in the A system, and then put it back in there to complete the the crafting. But it's used. I'll just cancel it. All right. So let me uh, let me sort out the diluted sulfuric acid um that's just going to go into distillery probably just uh yeah sure why not i don't remember why i had that but we have it ev i guess i could just throw it right here yeah we'll put it right here and uh then this distill it and send it into the tank Okay, so I have set up the thing, so we're gonna need a bunch of chromium. So I decided um, I was going to process all my chromite dust down into chromium. And you get a bunch of oxygen from this. So I was like, oh, perfect. We can just throw it in, you know, our tank. Um, and then I realized that, yeah, this isn't gonna work because if we're full on oxygen, which I've managed to fill it up pretty quick, um, this won't run. And we won't be getting the chromium that we need. So um, I'm going to have to sort that out. I do want it to go in the thing if it's needed. Maybe I can do... Just trying to think. The fluid pipe is the restrict... No, the restrictive... That is for item pipes, isn't it? Yeah, uh, maybe I can do, well, I guess I don't need one that big. I don't really need haste alloy either. I know what we can do. We could probably do, here, let's do this. We'll do one haste alloy and one small one, and then we'll just have it go in the, the thing, because fluid... The under fluid conduits don't have a priority, do they? I'm trying to remember. Um, oh my goodness, what am I trying to do? Trash can. All right, so we'll do this. That. I'll do that. So it'll go in the thing if it can. If not, it'll just go in the fluid trash can. Um, what I really, what would be ideal for this would be um, just setting up a the multi-block electrolyzer because then I could set it to just void it if needed. All right, but didn't I? There we go. That is the oxygen one. All right, cool. So that'll just slowly void this. Right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is very, very slowly going in that little tiny pipe, but uh, we don't need it going super fast. All right, so there we go. That is producing that. Um, the chrome is being pulled out by a conveyor. All right, so that is that. Next thing, time to start getting this going. Um, I did think about crafting up just a single block input bus on this. But uh, 
I have thousands of chromite, so we will have a decent amount. I am going to set this to only produce just as I don't want it filling up everything here. So uh, let's do, how about 32? And then we'll have it turn off. Now, this will produce chromium dioxide. I don't see any other way to... I was kind of hoping I could skip one step, but there is no other recipe for that. It has to be oxygen with chromium dioxide. I was kind of hoping I could just do directly to that. So what were those? Was that a one? I think I just, that was two ones. Yeah, let's grab like 10 more. I'll leave that there. That in there, and then try that. All right. So there we go. That is just combining the oxygen and the chromium dioxide. I don't even need 32 to be honest. I could just do like 16 even. All right. There we go. So we got 16. The item thing turns it off. Perfect. And the oxygen is on the back to share between these two. So basically what I'm going to do is the same here. So item detector on the output bus. 16. Invert it. And then ooh, let's do maintenance on that really quick. I really should, now that I'm just thinking, I really should go around the base and double check all my things. I haven't checked to see if there is maintenance problems on anything. All right, there we go. And then we'll just output this into this input bus. Oh, I just realized since these are sharing, this is going to clash, won't it? Mm, I don't think this is going to work. Because they're both one. Both ones. So they both have the chromium dioxide and the oxygen will be in this one as well. Um, Alright, let me see what happens. This, is, uh, this isn't going to work. I'm going to have to pipe out. I mean, yeah, I don't, I'm pretty sure this won't work. So we'll do that. Like where? Oh, I mean, Dioxide. Oh, it, yeah. See, it is. Sorry, they look so similar. Uh, it was making the chromium dioxide. Put that in there, and then it it turned it into chromium trioxide. Yep, that is definitely not going to work. So I'm going to have to separate this. Um, I'll do that, and then I'll move the input bus somewhere. I want the output bus there so we can control it when it's turning on and off. So let's see. I could. No, I don't want to put it in that one because that's the next. We'll have to put it like back here or something. Somewhere. That is only. Like that is separate. That's only on that one. And then I'll just use conduits, I think. And then I'll just have to move the maintenance hatch up here. I've done that before. All right, so what will happen is that will produce the chromium dioxide. That will end up in there. Can I get to it? Yeah, I can. Yeah, come over, down, and up. Yeah, we're good. All right, so that is that. 
Do I have enough conduits? No, let's make some more. Um, I don't store a ton of item conduits. I don't know. There we go. Um, because I don't use them a whole lot, as we can see. Yeah. Man, I, there's something about these. They just look so weird compared to... The arrows look so weird compared to... <laughs> um, uh, this is going to... Yeah. Fortunately, that is going to fill that up completely before it... Wait. Did I? No. Chromium dioxide. Oh, chromium trioxide is the next part. I'm getting myself really confused here. All right, there we go. Extract. There we go. Chromium dioxide going in there. And then this one. I'll do that. Can I put... Oh, I don't have the circuit in. And there is that. It should turn off at 16. There we go. Cool. Now, this one can go into the next one, I think. So we got chromium dioxide. We got chromium trioxide. This one. Yes. It'll turn off when it does that. Now, I'm probably going to just do... I'll just do two input buses on this. Did I put the other one on? I don't remember. I'll do we'll do the input bus right here. And this will be chromium trioxide and then the saltpeter, which we have a ton of, thankfully. And there we go with the chromium trioxide. Got the next bit. Chromium trioxide. Yeah, chromium trioxide and saltpeter. I forgot second. Which one I was doing. So there we go. I got the item detector on there. We should be good to go when I do this. Yes. All right, cool. So not super fast, but uh, there is that. Now we'll get 16. I don't need any more than that in there. We can see everything turning on. I'm not getting any cables burning down, which is always a good thing. Um, I am tearing through this chrome, though, which makes me a little sad. So I'm not going to produce a ton of this at first. Um, I may need to. I'm probably going to go throw the miner on a chromite vein. Go do that so we can get a whole bunch more. But uh, we should be good for a little bit. All right, there we go, turned off, perfect. So, next bit into there. Now that is gonna fill up. I really should have done just the small hatches. I just didn't have them. I didn't have a the small ULV ones set up because, yeah, I just don't have that set up because that is actually quite annoying. Half a bucket or half a, a thing. These are full. Like a full ingot, that's a half ingot, which is a pain trying to, I would have to do like two of these at once and nah, I didn't want to do that. So last bit we got that is this halic acid. So oxygen, dimethylbenzene, and that. So we got that there. I need two input hatches to... I need a bigger hatch for that, actually. I can just use a small one for the other one. Uh, why don't we just do... We'll just do... Yeah, maybe... Maybe... Um, 
Nah, I'll just do that. Also, uh, I don't have anything for the small pipes. Small pipes. Um, I have to manually do them because it is, uh, I didn't have room on the multi-block, so I just have to manually do it. That's why I don't have recipes for that. Um, yeah, I'll do, I was just thinking, I'm like, should I be wasting chrome when I really don't need it? Oh, well, it's already crafted it up. <laughs> so input hatch, we'll do, I guess there and there just to keep them separate and then water can be voided but that nine thousand yeah you know what that'll work in this input hatch i think will it no because it'll get the way they work it'll go above the not input output hatch um, it'll go above the... Oh, I have one. Nice. Like, it, as you saw with these, it was 17. 17, it shuts off. Um, so it would craft up the 9,000, and then it would craft up another one. But it would void two of it, because obviously it can't fit that much in. So that is that. Also, need a fluid detector, not a item. All right, did we get the last input hatch? Am I blind? Yes, I am indeed blind. And two P to P. Now we're gonna have, we have our diomended beans, that one. And then we're gonna have this one over here. Um, I don't think I'm going to P2P these out. We will just have them shut off, and then I will just use pipes to put that in the final bit, which will be that. Um, but I do have this to do, so I will probably... I'm just trying to think how I'm going to do this. And I should be placing this stuff down as I am talking. Get that, get that done. Okay. So there is that fluid detector. Did we get that? Well, I'll just do my usual 8,000. So it'll run once. I could even maybe, you know what, let's do like 16,000. So it runs three times and then fills up. I don't need a running winch. All right, I do need to hook these up. And then the final bit, I guess we need two more. Is that what we need? Two more large chemical reactors. I guess that's what we need. What oh, broke? Yeah, see, that is the issue with using all this chrome. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't have all that being used. All right, let's turn. Let's turn that off. Stop that. All right, let me get these hooked up to the things and I'll let me wait for some more chrome to be done. Okay, I'm going to have to go throw that on a chromite vein because I am indeed out of chrome. I just went through all that chrome. Uh, I guess it's since you get two chrome from seven, I mean, it goes, you go through it pretty quick, especially when you are doing like four stacks of Uh, four stacks of that chromium trioxide stuff. All right. Yeah, we got that. I just have that turned off for now. Stuff should all empty out. Yeah. See, there's there's so much chromium, and there was there was actually almost eight stacks of the stuff because the other thing had filled up. Okay. 
So that, that, that. I don't think it needs a. No, it doesn't need a thing. Mm. Don't want. You know what? This is just. I don't want to avoid any of this. So I'm actually. I just realized since that has water. I'm going to throw a hatch and then just until I can set the the output hatches, which, by the way, absolutely amazing. Did I do an input hatch or an output hatch? Dang it. Wanted an output hatch. All right, I saved it in time. There we go. Now I am just going to do the one and turn it off. All right, that does take 45 seconds. But uh, yeah, so that is the italic acid, however you say it. I'm going to throw this stuff in there. We got a thing for that. Oxygen, probably just avoid that because <laughs> I have no easy way to get in those tanks, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we'll set those. Uh, I do need to get, I think we need two more right so we'll do the last the last one now we can also send this to the, the thing although we already are full on sulfuric acid so it's just going to end up voiding it at this point but i mean we do get ha i mean this is a half or is it a quarter i don't i don't remember what this distills down into anyway um yeah so we need one for that and then we put that in the thing so how do i want to do that oh maybe i'll just add another one on to the end of this and then i will have the final one right here that's what i'll do all right so the final thing of this chain will go right there and that'll just be by itself and then this one i will add on to the end of this to get this diphenyl that and then we will pipe both of these into this multi-block. That's what I'll do. All right. So there we go. That's what I wasn't sure if that was how that was going to work, but is what it chose to do. Probably because I have one is HV and one is small. LV. All right. Get rid of that. 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 All right, so that will actually go into, now that I'm like doing that, that's going to go into an input hatch. All right, cool. So we're getting there. Um, next episode, we will finish this up, and then we will get all the advanced circuits, the advanced SMDs. So we'll finish these all up. I think we can get most of them. Why are you not letting me click on that? Yeah, platinum, tungsten, steel, graphene. There's the molten that stuff. Yeah, I don't like that, but <laughs> we can do it. Um, niobium, titanium, tungsten steel. I mean that we don't use a whole bunch of those all at once. But the nice thing about these is you just use so much less. Canadium gallon, we got HSSG. Yep, we got that. And then, all right, I'm going to have to do some of that in a fluid solidifier all right cool so we got a few more things to do but uh we'll get those next episode anyway that's gonna be it for today so thanks for watching and have a good one